I always check it. Hey guys, this is Susan with Susan's Travel Services. Um, welcome. We are on, this is a Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tahiti Tuesday. Um, and I've got lovely Steven here and he is with uh, Bora Bora Photo and Video. And we tried to connect when I was there. And unfortunately, he was actually at my resort and I got sick towards the end of my trip. I know nobody feels bad for me because I was gone for two weeks, but I think being gone for two weeks at the end of it, I'm a severe asthmatic and my lungs are not super happy with me. So with that, I'm bummed that I didn't get to uh, see you and meet you, but I know I will be back. And um, I have just looked at a bunch of your work and I think it's fabulous. I see some people when they post, one of the things I see a lot of, um, and maybe you can help me once you talk about who you are, is that red thing with the red dress that goes off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the heck is that? I mean, the idea that I'm showered and on a video is enough for me. But with that being said, um, I wanted to introduce you. You can tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. And then we'd love to hear about the things that you can offer people if they're going to go to Bora Bora and want to get a very, very cool photo. Yes. Hi, everyone. So my name is Stefan. Um, I work with my wife, Bonnie. I've been in Bora for nine years. Uh, I used to live in the U.S. on the East Coast. And uh, so I've been in Bora nine, nine years. Uh, There's no way that the your accent is from the U.S., though. You no, must well, I was born in France. So, and then nine years here, I didn't get better. So, uh, But I, I um, mostly we do a couple photography weddings. Uh, we have a little photo shoot this morning. We do a good amount of photos in the water um, with the wildlife and also more like fashion-oriented uh, underwater photos. Uh, that's what we really enjoy doing. Uh, in July, we actually running a few sessions in Connecticut underwater, fine in the pool, but it won't be any wildlife there. But uh, how did you connect? This. So someone in Connecticut said, "Come to my pool and take like I would die. I don't want anyone to take a photo of me underwater in my bathing suit." Thank you. I have a pool in my backyard. But someone said, "You're so fabulous." I'm gonna try to move this around. I'm just curious. Wait, that's not what I want. I wanted to kind of your photo is our background. You're going to have to share some of your photos because they are, I mean, it's unbelievable. I always think, oh, I'm so good. And nothing. <laughs> we'll, we'll share some. Show some sure. So yeah. the, the, the idea is we, we, we've been working for the past two years. Uh, and with COVID, we wanted to, we planned several times to do some um, sessions uh, on the East Coast. And then COVID got in the way. Uh, gotcha. This time around looks pretty good, and we want to try to promote this type of work in the U.S. as well. There's, I mean, there's a few photographers in the U.S. doing that. Um, and the idea is more about the fashion aspect of being underwater. Uh, we have a lot of people um, that have mermaid tails. Uh, some of them will be couples dressed up, wedding uh, wedding gown, and, and so forth. So the idea is just to do below the surface uh, gotcha. photos. We have quite a few similar photos posted on Instagram. Some of them are done in Lagoon. Um, and some of them over here we do uh, at the resort pools. Uh, so I would kill my daughter. We are sitting at the Safatella Morea in May last year. And I watched this beautiful couple walk all the way to the end and they jump off. And I was like, I would kill my daughter if she jumped off the thing in her brand new gown that I just paid for. And they're like, oh no, it's so cool. We have all these great photos. I was like, well, now I see them and they look beautiful. But I thought, well, then you can buy your own dress. So I realized they do, but it is it has a artistic side to it that is very cool um, that people want these incredibly unique, Instagrammable, you know, I got married almost 30 years ago and we didn't have that. We had, I hope I fit, you know, who cared what anyone else looked like. Um, but yeah, so it, it definitely has the fashion and that, like I said to you before we started, there's this um, red dress that has like a curve. So do yeah. people buy that dress and then they come and you take that photo? So yeah, we've actually, it's becoming, it's, it started in Santorini in Greece and um, oh. we have three dresses that were gifted to us by a French designer. Uh, we mostly use in the water. Uh, so they're not like your plain traditional dress. We have a few posted on Instagram and uh, the material works very well in the water. But now we're seeing um, that people have seen those photos. They want 
the similar long flying dress um, that are even longer than ours. It's it's uh, it's challenging to make them fly. Bonnie is becoming I quite bet. good at it. Uh, we actually, I'm doing editing right now on some of those, those dresses, removing wrinkles and working details. Um, and it's it's pretty popular. So the ones we have, they're made of uh, parachute cloth, so they're recycled mm -hmm. uh, material. In the water, uh, they float very, very nicely. So we have done, we've even done photos with sharks, uh, with those dressers. Um, and they are That's ideal. Crazy. <laughs> the traditional floating dressers are a little heavier. Uh, so in the water, they don't do well, but they fly, of course, very well. They're usually four or five meters long. Uh, so like I, I would say at least 10, 10 12 feet long. Um, so you get one shot. And I'll tell you this. I grew up with a dad who loved photography. So we heard about the rule of thirds. He would take a, um, a note card and cover up the photo and be like, this is how you do it. I still have my FM2 camera out there. And, um, and I, what I have found is there's a lot of people that say they're photographers. We have a lot of, we call them momifers. They're moms that are like, oh, I can take, I can buy a camera at Costco and take photos and edit the crap out of it. That's very different than what you do. Is there any yeah. way that you can share your screen and share some of your photos with uh, us? Because sure. yours, are, yours are stunning. And if people are looking for something like that, which is so unique and so different, um, I would love to see... Um, I, I, I'm not really, I mean, I guess maybe I could be that person um, uh, someday, you know, we get super in shape before I'm 60 um, and go underwater and have that. Or I have seen some of these photos and they just are fabulous. Like I, I just, I think that photos, I scrapbook photos are people don't print anymore. And that's a huge mistake. I yep. know you just, I'm so grateful that I have these photos. My son, while I was in Tahiti texted me, He's 21. He can be whomever he wants to be. And some days I want to kill him. Texted me and said, I don't know if I've told you this, but thank you so much for the scrapbooks. I'm so glad I can go through them. I about fell over in my chair. And I just thought, I'm so glad that I know how to take photos and center them. I mean, at least I can do that and get some good lighting, you know, but, but yeah. So if you can, I don't know if you can or not, I can add your, yeah, I can add a I third. Working oh, perfect. Okay, right. here we go. Yeah. Oh working right oh, now oh there we go oh there we go yep 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 so yeah all right so i'll go back here we actually i'm, I'm right in the middle of editing some of those photos here oh I'm so sorry. This, oh, yeah look at that this is a traditional kind of long flying dress uh, yeah. that our client brought uh, she i think she bought it on etsy um and the ones we have are a little bit different uh so i mean yeah that's a little bit thicker almost like silk yeah, it's silky, it's very shiny, so there's a lot yeah. of sunspots. Um, when it's really, really bad, I will remove it. Um, oh, I can see you going, God, I mean, you need to yeah, come yeah. on and, like, remove my wrinkles. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> so those photo sessions, that's, that's fairly new. It's, uh, it's pretty trendy. We're getting a lot of requests. So it's not really – the packages we have right now are, like, hourly at the resort for most of the time for couples. Um, and usually all photographers in Boa usually guarantee like 50 photos per hour, which is quite a bit. Uh, but it has been like that since I've been here. Now we find with those dressers, it's, it's difficult to provide 50 photos and they would be very similar and they require right. quite a bit more editing. Right. Uh, this one, for example, I just made a little bit longer and then I still have to remove. So that's the new version now. Very cool. Now, uh, if I said to you, I want, I'm going to be at the Intercontinental Thalasso. I want you to come. We're going to pay for an hour, a couple hours, let's say. And then do we need to know what we want to do, where we want to do it? Or are you going to give us suggestions on something like that? Yeah, no, we, I mean, we know the resort very well. So we know where we can go in one hour. Each resort is a little bit different. The San Regis, for example, is a very large property. So yes, I was just there. Younger. So we have to rely on the golf clubs uh, to 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 get us around. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Talasso is a bit easier because we can walk around and cover a lot of many different spots uh, in one hour, an hour and a half. So I mean, we know Actually. the resort very well. Of course, you know, if someone has specific photos, we we have a full day tour also that's geared to do photos at the resort first. Um. 
And then we leave on a boat for the day to like to get to this spot, for example, which is in the middle of the lagoon. So this is outside the resort. Yeah, so that looks like it's almost the ocean in the background. Yes, yeah, so we're very close to the reef over here. And then, yeah. um, so this is another photo. It's not edited oh, yet. Oh, so wow. So those are the type of photos we, we do outside the resorts. Yeah, with Achimano in the background. It looks really bad. And that's Bora in the background. We're very close to the reef, so the water is very clear. Uh, those are the dresses we have uh, for shooting in the water. Yeah, you can already tell that it's lighter and what... Yeah, yeah. It's, wow, it's that's very, so, very nice. that is actually very cool looking. Maybe and, uh, I'll do it next time. Um, that's fabulous. Wow. And oh, that is not fabulous. That would scare the crap out of me. But <laughs> I have I have snorkeled with them and they don't really care about you. I will be honest. Yeah, um, no, they, 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 they're very friendly. So when someone says, I never really thought about this. Like I have a couple leaving today and they're like, what should we do? What is a typical, like if I send them the information, what do you think if they do an hour, hour and a half, what does something like that typically run? So in Boa, the, our rate, uh, our personal rate is uh, around 550 for one hour, an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, usually we'll spend an hour and a half. Um, and then it goes up to 700 depending on, you know, who's the photographer. Uh, so usually between... 450 to 700 it's quite expensive comparing to the u.s and then that includes the editing and getting the copies yeah. of those photos okay because yeah, that's yeah. usually yeah and but yeah. like you said you can't go back i do tell people this is something you're never gonna you don't really recreate this this could be a once in a lifetime experience and if people really want something especially if they're getting married now do you also do if people want to go and renew vows would that be something that you could come to the to the property and do that for them also Yep. Yeah, we, we do actually quite a bit of that. Uh, okay. We do at the resort yesterday. We had one couple. Uh, actually, they were staying at Le Boa Boa, but they had organized a little ceremony at Matira Beach. Uh, oh, so I love that. I love both. Yeah. And then we went to Matira Beach. That was quite nice. Um, the, the, the resorts do a lot of weddings, a lot of uh, renewal. Um, this month, we had quite a few. So a couple photo shoots, very new war, uh, weddings. Um, we tie photos in the water. We had a couple this week at the Talasso uh, for a three-hour photo session. They had a wedding ceremony, and then they had, I think, three different uh, attire they wanted to change. And yeah. then we finished by doing some photos in the water um, just below the surface and also in the small lagoon. Oh, some yeah, yeah, water. right by the spa. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, near That's the spa, exactly. Pretty. Which yep. usually works pretty well. Uh, some resorts, like the San Regis, is probably the best resort for photography in the water, uh, beyond the spa, because the water is always very, very clear. So we. It is. Much I snorkeled in it. I was amazed. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's to me, it's the most beautiful. It's man-made lagoon, but it's the most beautiful man-made lagoon in Bora Bora. I would agree with you. I think that is. Yeah one of the nicest um, there, but it is, it, we rode our bikes everywhere, which was fabulous. Yep. And we were probably the farthest away on, on the, we were all the way away, um, which was great. I mean, I'm glad that we got to ride our bikes, but I would agree. I think that's really nice. Um, people who don't understand Bora Bora, the lagoon obviously is in the inside. And if you want to have different views and stuff like that, you know, you can't go pop in to the water on someone's off their Yep. off their room. I was facing a different area. I did not have an Atumano view. So for us to get one, and that's what's great about the St. Regis is the spa looks directly at it. You can always see it. And I always think of the um, the movie they play all the time, the couples retreat. You can yep. see it there, which it's funny because you watch that and it looks so crappy in that movie. I'm like, it is so much nicer than that movie, um, the property there, but they have a beautiful view there and a very, very large lagoon. Yep. Um so they would contact you and say, hey, we're not quite sure. Or they either contact you and say, this is what we want. Right. And, so, then, they would contact, and then you have you have different photographers. It's not just you and your wife. Yeah. So the, in Borada today, there's probably around, I'm, around six or seven photographers. So Perfect. each, I mean, we all do a lot of land photography, of course. Some of them do drone. Um, if I do drone, I will partner with someone because I don't do drone, but I do, we try to specialize in underwater photography, aquatic photography, so we can do yeah. everything. 
Yeah. Drone is tricky because some of the resorts don't allow it. Uh, yeah. There's also a lot of non-fly zone in Bora Bora. Yeah. Um, so on the main island and some areas, it's okay. It's possible to do it. Um, Isn't and, there uh, a um, small little island that looks like a heart? Yeah, Tupai. So yeah. Tupai is a 10-minute flight by helicopter uh, to Bora Bora. I don't know if I have a photo. I yeah, I, I think it's really expensive to go get a, um, a photo taken there, but I've yep. seen it when I've gone through trainings and people are like, and then you can go here. And I'm like, I mean, it's not my money. So if you want to spend money doing that, awesome. As long as it's not mine, I'm all in. Um, but I just went, I don't even know where that is. And I keep, I always look for it when we fly. You know, we fly from Huhini and stuff like that. I go, oh, I wonder where it is. Um, so it's... um. It must be, is it close to Taha? No, it's actually really close to Boa, but depending on the flight approach, sometimes we can see it, sometimes we can't. Mm. I'm trying to find um, a photo of Tupai. It is amazing. Uh, they have different packs. So they, we, we're fortunate because we get to go there once in a while. Uh, yeah. We've had several engagements also. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's what they brought up. They said, you can get engaged on a heart island. I went, and I handed my husband a ring. That's how we got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, people do it a little different these days. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. I have a few photos of Tupai here. Oh, man. Oh, look. Oh, see? That's so cute. Yeah. So, oh, my gosh. Look at that. They go in on a helicopter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fabulous. But the island is in the shape of a heart. Um, yeah, the, from from the sky, it really is a heart shape. So it's it's quite beautiful. So usually, yeah. uh, let me see if I can find the photo. We try to get the couple. Uh, let me see. I probably well, this is the heart shape. Uh, then we are usually able to get the couple. In the helicopter with the heart shape through the window because the pilot knows uh, we want to get that photo. I just need to find one. Right. I know I have one somewhere. So it's amazing uh, while you're looking. It, the, they Your photos are so good. It literally looks like I'm looking at an ad. Thank These you. people look so professional. I'm like, wow, they look, they look, they look, I mean, I really hope they're married still. I hate saying that sometimes I'm like, I wonder if these people are still married all the weddings I do. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. They have a singer there too. I mean, yeah, so this that. one here, hang on, I'll show you. This one was, was really interesting. This couple had contacted us. They were also Aww. staying at the Sarangis and he contacted us because he wanted to propose to, to his girlfriend. And then originally we were set to go and do it at the Sarangis, but he didn't want his girlfriend to see us and then it evolved into going to Tupai and then we actually had two different flights uh, because he also wanted a dancer and then we had a musician uh, so oh my gosh dancer, that's we awesome. were actually hiding at this point the dancer came out of nowhere uh, we had time to set up a little decoration on the beach we also had a singer that was hiding you can see we camouflage some of the stuff on the beach that is so cool and he didn't see us until the very end for the photos. That's so cool because you think about that. I mean, it is, it's a little, I mean, my husband hates anything public. Like, you know, I'm the op, I'm a total extrovert. And he's always like, if anyone ever comes up and asks us to be on TV, we always say no. <laughs> and I'm like, we do. Oh, I want to be on TV. But, um, but he's like, no, no, no. He doesn't like doing things in public and to be able to do something like this privately. Plus like how many people have done this? Yeah, so I mean, the, that's the, not, we, yeah, that's not, I mean, that's beautiful, but that doesn't show the cool shape of it. There's a really, yeah, you know, like I said, I, I have not flown it. over it, um, but that's fabulous. So um, let me go make sure that there's no, I'm going to look here and see if there's any comments. Um, oh, do you know, uh, uh, Stell Wilkinson is another travel advisor and she's a friend of mine. She says La Orana. And then she's saying something in Fran French, which I can't, uh, let's, let's see how bad I can butcher this. Celeste okay. la accent Francis. I'm guessing she's saying you're, she loves your accent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a French know. accent, I think. Thanks, Estelle. <laughs> um, so she's from France. Um, yeah, okay. I can't even speak uh, English very well, much less another language. So 
Um, but we'll put your information down there. And I just think it's such a unique, beautiful thing to be able to do. I will do it next time I go there for sure with you because I'm grateful enough to be able to go there a couple of times. But like I said, I always tease, but I have these wonderful photos behind me and photos for me are, they're like, if they're done well, they captivate you. They, they bring back a memory that that's why, like I said, that's why I scrapbook. And a lot of my guests go to Bora Bora and this might be the last time you go. I've never, ever had a, a water photo except by accident or on a really crappy water camera. I tried, we tried it. My husband has a GoPro um, and there's some cool videos on there, but I even joke with him. I say, when are we going to edit this? I mean, like he yep. wanted me to look, this sounds terrible. He did. He went, we went to Rangaroa and he got to see the dolphins and it's like oh, a 20 cool. minute video. And I'm like, sure be cool if someone could edit this and add music to it and he's like and i'm going it's just really long and you he goes like this the whole time yeah i'm yeah. like oh my god where oh wait it's over there and i'm like so i want to take like a photo and be like hey it's you and the dolphin and he's not he's not thinking He's like, oh my God, there's dolphins in front of me. So we really don't have any experience with water. And our water doesn't look like this water that's in the background. You know, the water that we get, I mean, we've got a better GoPro, but it's totally different when you have somebody who knows what they're doing. I mean, right. we, I, I related to me and my job going, I spent a lot of time working on my job. I certainly hope I know about Bora Bora to be able to sell it, but it is wonderful to finally meet you and we will put your details on there so that if people are interested in learning about this and having uh, the ability to be able to book with you, we love to have people do that. And if anyone has done it, I would love to see your photos posted here because uh, in our Facebook group, because I think it's just a great way to share and get people excited mm -hmm. about a beautiful location and an opportunity to do something that, you know, you won't be able to do any other time in your life. Thank you, Susan. I mean, we, we very passionate about what we do. Uh, one aspect that we love uh, is really meeting people. Uh, yeah. I mean, being from the U.S., Bonnie is from Hong Kong. Uh, so we both migrated to French Polynesia. And I'm uh, very happy to be part of the group. Uh, I think it's fantastic because people can ask questions. I mean, I think being nine years here, we know the island pretty well. Yeah. We know the operators. We know the lagoon tours, um, the yep. activities. And yep. we're always very happy to help. Um, oh, I love that. So. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you guys, thanks for getting up early. Um, and I hope you have a fabulous day. I will post this on there and then make sure you send me your details again. So I have it all on there for everyone. I know it's the best way to reach them is through WhatsApp because WhatsApp is the best place outside the United States. Everyone else in the world uses it. Um, but, um, but we'll make sure it's on there. And then if you guys have any questions, let us know. Thank you, Susan. Okay. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.